Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Looks like I could optimize this power relay. Nice. Okay, what next? It looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. Finished. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag.
I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. I call that a mild success. I call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Ah, uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Doc loves these things. He used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? Provides remarkable magnetic insulation and limits cross-contamination between the neural interface and arms. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. Showed up with stains on my shirt, ten minutes late from stopping a mugging. Still can't believe Doc hired me. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time.
Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch. Noticed the decay of my fine motor control. Well, I'm the one who wanted a genius for an assistant. Of course he knows. I just need more time. My work can improve millions of lives. Save millions of lives. It can also save my own. I just need more time. Hmm. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. We're trying to improve the prosthetics hardware. I should review what Doc's been developing and double-check his work. Hi, May. Let me guess. Running late? Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... Good. I'll be there soon. Bye! Ryan and Empire State University. But this is not your unit. You literally didn't see that coming. Appreciation on the Sable guys is all the reward I need. What are you doing here? You just made your last mistake, punk. What the? Does it seriously take this many guys to rob a teenager?
You hurt? You're Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. And a few other choice adjectives Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros, okay? Uh, okay, but what if there aren't any around? Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time, but when I do it, I have... Oh, like that time you fought Rhino on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect example. If the other guy's bigger, you gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's... It's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. All right, put him up. Seriously? Yeah, come on. First thing. Don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow, breathe deep, relax. Hip square to your opponent. Let them make the first move. Now use your feet, and when they go off balance, look for an opening. Boom. Like that? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jock, okay? I can take <clears throat> Oh, sh... S sorry. No, 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 <laughs> it's all good. You keep that up and uh, you'll be fine. All right, lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey, uh, thanks. You know, anytime. I just punched Spider Man. Shelter should be just ahead. Yo, Miles, what's up? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. I just met Spider-Man. What? That's crazy. Hey, did you show him our hacking app? Oh, man. I totally forgot. Oh, you suck. He totally would've bought it off you, and then we'd be, like, famous. Yeah, I'll show him next time. I, I gotta go. I promised my mom I wouldn't be late. Uh, cool. Later. Farmer's market. I can cut through there. Man, I hope they're okay. Keep moving, keep moving. I'm not the guy in charge, okay? Just keep moving, right? No, no, can't let Come on, no picture. Just keep moving. Over to the side. Already late. I better get to the shelter. Close up today. Hey, who's honking? Was that you? Don't make me come over there. Side to a terrorist attack. Well, when you say it like that, how would you say it? Tourism's down. There are opportunities to be had. Like half off at Decadent Spa. Half off. <laughs> okay, for that I'll leave the house. Nice to know you'd risk your life for a hot stone massage. Yeah, we do. Six, two for ten, five for forty. Chips, right here. Hey, what about this one here for your friend, huh? Uh oh. Kidding me? It's gonna take forever. That drone wasn't watching. I could jump the fence. Wow, that was too easy. I can't believe Sable systems are unsecured. Maybe I'll send an anonymous tip. Think I'll stay clear of those guys. Okay, hacking app. Don't fail me now. Okay. Okay, time to move.
Let's see. I can go under the gate on the left, or over the scaffolding to the right. Mom? Hi, honey. Did you make it to the feast shelter okay? Uh, yeah. Almost there. Miles, you don't have to work at that shelter, you know. You said I did. No, I gave you a choice. Yeah, and I chose this over more therapy. I mean, it was helpful. The guy said everyone grieves in their own way. This is mine. Okay. Sorry. Mom. Yeah? Just because I don't want to talk about it doesn't mean I don't love you. Oh, honey. I love you so much. I gotta go. I'll call you on my way home. Almost there. Can't take a detour now. I'm seeing, I'm seeing them dead demon faces. And you know what, I'll just, just keep breathing. I'll be back soon, Mr. Hunter. Hey, hey, Miles. Pete. Hey, um, sorry I'm late, man. Oh, no, no, I'm just glad you're here. All right, so, um, what can I do to help? Why don't you start just by, uh, getting comfortable with the place. Uh, meet a few people. You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee? All right. And I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite. Much. You sure? Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons? Subatomic? It fits. Good one, kid. Piece of junk. Oh, hell. Damn hunk of junk. Uh, you mind if I take a look? Eh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these CR when they're... what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Got time. Get it going. Or, could be a loose coax cable. <sighs> all right, all right. Be my guest, huh, Mr. Smarty pants. Hey, please, go ahead. Tributes continue to pour in for Officer Jefferson Davis, the hero killed in the City Hall bombing, as reports emerge that he used his own body to shield others in his last moments of life. Hey, hey new kid. I'm empty wife, here. Rio and son Miles, as well as brother Aaron. In addition to the hero. Man didn't do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. Hey, Ernie. I see you've met Miles. He's gonna be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, thanks. Uh, listen, Cat, I'm, I'm... Sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. Let's see if Aunt May needs a hand in the kitchen. Hey, May. I gotta take off, but, uh, brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. Nice to see you. 
Well, grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. Hey, hey Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. Almost noon. Sable should be moving Dr. Michaels. Better get to the Bowery and locate him. I'm afraid our computers are a bit outdated. Oh, that's cool. I might be able to improve their performance for you. Really? That would be extremely helpful. Thank you. Peter, be careful out there. Miles told me the Sable patrols are being very strict. Pete, I like that kid you brought in. Reminds me of you. I wish. So how's it going with your daughter, Eileen? Slow. I made mistakes raising her. Hard to get past. Well, if you're talking, there's hope. Don't give up. Now that's a wise man right there. Hey, Pete. Your aunt's really stepped up. Yeah, she's the best. What about my dog? I'm heading to the Bowery to make sure Michaels gets to his new safe house. You know, safely. I wouldn't do that. Silver Sable made it clear you are not welcome. Yeah, well, what you gonna do? Shoot me? Honestly, 50-50 chance. Ah, fine. I'll be in the neighborhood, but not too close. Just in case. This is the Bowery, but where's Dr. Michaels? 